AVNR, we're a uh, robotics and automation company. So we do robotic cells, so machines with robots doing various operations. Robotic finishing and, and some of our applications like profiling, like polishing, are very important to improve efficiency of an engine. One thing we're seeing more and more, and we've been exposed more and more, is 3D printing. This is very interesting because we're getting into an era right now that you'll see very, very efficient design or different design uh, that were not possible in the past due to manufacturing limitation. Well, we started using it because we needed to be uh, more efficient and uh, have tooling more quickly. In the process of designing uh, a system for a customer, we have uh, most of the time to design the fingers to handle the parts with the robot. We would design those, have them made, wait for them, and then we could install them on the machine and do our testing. But sometimes CAD we receive from the customer would have surprises, would need to do a second iteration, and then the delays just add up. We uh, made the acquisition of a, a 3D printer so we can make in-house uh, the prototype of our fingers for the grippers. This is uh, steel fingers. This is a typical finger that we uh, design. Here we have an example of the uh, fingers uh, that we have. We have to modify the geometry to make sure that the, these uh, fingers are printable. So when the, the build plane is ready, we can just click print, send it to our printer. So that, that's one cool thing with 3D printing. We just started the, the printing uh, a few hours ago and then we have our uh, grippers ready now. So we're gonna grab those and install them on the machine and we're uh, ready to go. Well, the gripper fingers are set up onto the gripper. So we're uh, already ready to test these out and see if the geometry works out with the parts that we've got from our customer. And if there's any issue or surprises, well, we'll just do the loop all over again, modify the CAD in SolidWorks, start over the print, and uh, put these, uh, put these uh, back on the machine. So in around uh, a day, we went from the uh, model in SolidWorks to the actual parts on the system. So it's, it's, uh, it's crazy how uh, we can go uh, faster with, uh, with this new technology.